It is the personal stories of children and their families about inclusion and exclusion which add such value not only to the work that we do in terms of advocacy but also just to our understanding of what it really means to experience inclusive education. We interviewed a mum who has a daughter with Down syndrome and she explains to us their journey both with exclusion and then ultimately with inclusion in an ordinary primary school and the amazing impact that's had not only on their family but on the whole school community. <laughs> with Erica has always been full of surprises. She surprised us by arriving a month early to a rather unprepared mother. And secondly, she had an extra chromosome. So long before she even had a name, she had a label, Down syndrome. But for me, she was just my baby. And she had exactly the same needs as any other child. She needed to be cared for, she needed to be loved, she needed to be educated and uh, she needed to be given opportunities. And Erica has done an amazing job of taking those opportunities and being so much more than her label. Erica's physical milestones, sitting, crawling, walking, were not much delayed. But developmentally, her brother, who was born the following year, caught up to her very quickly, and from there, Oh, and they were brought up as twins, forming a very close bond. Erica then spent a very happy three years at a local kindergarten where it could not have gone better. Hence our huge surprise when the school's governing body informed us that she would not be allowed in class one despite her teachers, who were the ones that really knew her, voting in favour of this. It's very hard when your, your child is turned away or it almost felt like she was being expelled for a label. There was no reason for it. There was, it, everything was going so well and uh, so all of a sudden you're sent on this roller coaster ride of what to do. At this point it was very clear that inclusive education would be most beneficial for Erica. She learned so much by copying so that even if she didn't achieve academically she would gain so much from her surroundings and her peers. Islands North is our local school. We live around the corner and it was also our first choice school for Philip so it just made so much sense that she went to the same school. They were incredibly professional. From the word go they were very clear about what we could expect from the school and what the school expected from us. They also have the most amazing approach of every child is special and every child has special needs. I can't imagine my class without Erica in it. She, um, she's hilarious, she makes me laugh all the time. And her progress since two years ago is huge. When she started with me, she couldn't read. She knew her sounds, but she couldn't read. And with Lisa, the facilitator, we worked together and now she is reading books at my, I'd say, the middle level of my, my other grade twos and she just reads and if you get her on a good day she'll read the whole book to you. Having experienced exclusion and knowing the struggles and the heartbreaking stories that parents have and families have it is my absolute wish that every family in the future could have the positive experience we've had. Erica has grown so much she has achieved so much because of this wonderful school and 
because of amazing passionate teachers that could see past the label and could see the potential to learn even if it's at a, a different level and to give her the opportunities to become the person she's meant to be and for that you know we will always be so grateful.